about small acts, cooperative law. Awesome. And um, so, where are you from? Madison, Wisconsin. And what's your role in small acts? Um, I practice the law, I teach about the law, uh, and you know, help run the co-op. It's a startup. We, we started about two years ago. Coming, coming here is a big commitment. Uh, what are you seeking here? Um, largely community of practice. Um, there are some questions I have uh, that I can only get answers to here. There are some conversations um, I can only have with people that have a certain amount of knowledge about co-ops, um, that have a certain amount of practical experience working with co-ops. Uh, and it's nice to be around a lot of those people at once. Uh, there's some disagreements I can only have here. Uh, and, and, and that really fosters a lot of growth. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Awesome. And how did you get to the conference? Uh, I rode in a union cab. Awesome. Oh, I took a pic of it. Uh, is this your first worker co-op conference? Uh, it is my first worker co-op conference. I attempted to go to one years ago, and uh, then my stomach collapsed like the day before I was supposed to leave. Um, I'll ask about that later. <laughs> uh, what, what has helped Small Axe the most? Um, I think we're, we're small. Uh, we have very deep relationships with each other and also to the community that we serve. So together between the three of us, I think we have like almost 80 years of continuous experience in the community that we serve. Uh, and also having, I mean, personally been uh, a member of the co-op space for about a decade, uh, there's a lot of uh, relationships that we pull on uh, that have been extremely helpful in helping us grow. And even to know where the resources around us are, so we know where to ask for help. Uh, and that's been really helpful. Um, what's something unexpected that's helped your co-op? Um, I would say there's a local bank that was incredibly helpful. Uh, we started out banking with uh, a credit union, you know, in line with our values and all of that, uh, but they couldn't offer some of the account types that we needed and didn't have any credit availability for us, and there's a, a really big cash flow lag in the law. Uh, so we were looking for a line of credit, and there was this small bank, local, it wasn't a credit union or anything, but they were excited about our mission and what we did. They looked us in the eyes and treated us with respect. Um, and they have been very supportive in terms of helping us increase our financial acumen uh, and, and working with us in a way that does reflect our values. Uh, and so I think that was really unexpected for me, um, but very helpful. Awesome. Um, where do you go locally for assistance? Uh, I'm lucky in that I live in Madison and there's a lot of assistance, So, and some of it comes to me, right? The people will send me emails or knock on my door and tell me about stuff that could help me. Uh, so big shout out to those folks. Uh, but we've got Mad Work uh, in town. Uh, I am a SELP fellow, so I can turn to them for legal questions or, or support. Um, I, you know, places like this where you, you make relationships and people mean it when they say email me. Um, so uh, I'm fortunate for that. I also have a lot of family in town. I have a lot of friends that I look to for support. Uh, and I've worked at a, a lot of places in the place that I live. So I can always call folks over at Union Cab and, and ask a question if I need to uh, or get a cab. So uh, there's, I mean, even getting here, uh, mad work staff made me aware of monies that helped me get here, right? The, and, and a ride. And like, there's, uh, there's a lot of effort put into making sure that we succeed because I, I think folks are excited about our project uh, and excited about uh, being able to help something grow. So we, we've been really fortunate in that there's a, a lot of co-op type, nonprofit type support uh, where I'm from. What's something that you wish your co-op had to support your efforts? Uh, oh, other than like uh, a stack of extremely patient capital, um, I would say an admi administrative support. Uh, it has been a lot of work uh, to 
even just make sure our schedules are all together, make sure that our emails are going out on time, make sure that the payroll is happening. Uh, and it's been a lot of learning for folks uh, on the job as we move forward, even as we're starting to practice the law, which is a lot. So uh, I, I really wish we had more administrative support uh, directly in-house. Yeah. Um, what's been the best or most useful part of the conference so far? Ooh, um, I got to, I got to do a little bit of dancing yesterday that was really good for my soul. Uh, but if I was going to say like actually planned conference spaces, um, I, I mean, even then, I, 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 I still have to go with that relationship building piece. A lot of those like informal conversations that happen on the stairs, that happen in the hallways, uh, they wouldn't be nearly as vivacious or informative if we didn't have good programming to be reflecting on, right? Uh, but I think that's where your people kind of shine, uh, and that's where you get perspectives and questions that, um, that always stick with me for a while is... Uh, when the quiet people start talking. Um, and, and I think those are those little nook spaces. And to the credit of the organizers, they gave us a lot of spaciousness to, to play with that. Um, is there anything going on in Small Axe that you're proud or excited by? Yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, but I think our... In our second year, we really started to, to focus on the educational side of our programming. And like personally, that's a big part of what calls me to the work uh, and the, the stuff I'm most excited about. Uh, so like legal cafes where we'll do a little a workshop, a presentation, and then, and then bring in some lawyers to, to volunteer their time to answer a few questions. Um, even, uh, you know, we did a legal name change workshop, helped a bunch of folks uh, force the government to acknowledge their identity, you know? Um, and I'm excited that these kinds of ideas keep coming in uh, from our community and, uh, and seeing the space come alive with people, seeing people uh, start to work with the law as something that's supposed to serve them, uh, that does a lot of healing for me personally. So I, I think the the workshops and educational opportunities uh, are, are something I'm really excited about. The question here was, is there any shameless plugging that Damon wanted to do for Small Axe? Yeah, uh, smallaxeaxe.coop. Uh, there's an intake form. We do educational stuff outside of Wisconsin. Uh, we'll do educational or legal direct service in Wisconsin. We mostly focus on, uh, I do co-ops, nonprofits, small businesses, uh, dispensaries, that kind of stuff. Um, I do criminal defense work. Uh, we've done some tenant side litigation. Uh, and then there's someone on staff who works with uh, wills, trusts and estates, that kind of stuff. Specifically uh, documents for uh, family structures that have a hard time with passing uh, property, with respecting their will in a hospital, those kinds of things. Uh, so uh, I'm excited about that. All of our educational programming is free. Uh, we're happy to help design those kinds of things to, you know, suit needs, and um, we're hoping that our sliding scale direct delivery of legal service continues to grow as well. So if you're at all in Wisconsin, for sure hit us up, and if you're not in Wisconsin, still feel free, um, because this is this is the type of work that really fills, fills my cup up so that uh, I have the strength I need to go fight DAs and stuff. <laughs> So thank you all for those that bring me questions uh, that let me practice that in a way that I, I really like to show up. That's all I got, man. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do you have? Uh, what do you